Hi, good evening. Hello. Hi, Gonzalo. Hi, Blanca. Hi, Galileo. Hello. Judith. Hi. Hi, teacher. Luis Alfonso. Good evening, Dinora and William. Very good. How's everybody today? Everybody okay? Good. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. You? Very nice. Okay. Okay. I'm busy, but okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, I know. <laughs> yeah, but it's okay. In a... Three groups. Do you have three groups? Today I only had two, but I had meetings and my internet was not working very well, so it was like a little bit stressful today. <laughs> I I think uh, the difficulty in internet is is general. I think because so. Because, uh, or, or maybe the Claro, Tigo, mm -hmm. whatever, is, don't have enough capacity. Capacity, yeah, probably. I think, mm -hmm. I think that. Yeah, you're right, Galileo. I think everybody's using internet nowadays. So yeah. I guess we're collapsing. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, there are a uh, new modality. Mod right. modality. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yes, of course. Sorry. Yeah, for sure. Sorry, I need to get my list. Yeah. But anyway, this is like the new reality that we need to get used to. So right. this is how it's going to be. All right. Very good. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Thank you. All right. Very good. Thank you, Alex, for joining the class. And Luis Alfonso, thank you. And the rest of you guys, of course. So um, I want to apologize. Uh, I was just telling Galileo that I had a lot of um, problems with my connection today during the day. Entonces, mi internet estuvo muy mal ahora. Entonces, no pude subir la presentación que usamos ayer, pero espero yo que ya mañana estemos mejor. De hecho, ahorita estamos como, I hope I don't have any problems with the class. But I think we're going to be okay. Pero mañana eh, igual yo le voy a subir la, la presentación que usamos ayer, ¿verdad? Para que la puedan tener ahí. Entonces estoy en deuda todavía. All right, very good. Thank you, guys. Yes, Luis? Yo sí vi la presentación de anoche, teacher. Mándeme. Sí subió la presentación. La de anoche a la plataforma. I don't think so. Está ahí. Será, Luis. <laughs> Let me check, Luis, because maybe it's already there, but I don't think, I mean, I didn't, but maybe it's already there. All right, but we can check. All right, okay. very good, guys. Thank you. All right, so Ellie, hi, Ellie. How are you? Good. And Excellent. you? I'm okay. I'm a little tired today, Ellie, but that's okay. Very good. A lot of work and a lot of stress today because my internet connection has not been working very well. Uh, hola, hello, very good. I have also Carlos Alfredo, Carlos Antonio, and Luis Manuel. Very good, guys. Okay, so I'm going to take attendance right now. So we start the review after I take the attendance. Okay, just let me get my pen here. All right, so we have Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank I'm you. Here. Thank you. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Uh, Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Thank you. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejia. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Thank you. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Very good. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Thank you. Edwin Valmore Flores Gómez. Yet. Okay. Um, Elmer Ubaldo Ramirez Cruz. No, yet. Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. I am here. Thank you. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present teacher. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. All right. Eh, Luis Alfonso Martinez Perez. Present teacher. 
Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present teacher. Norma Lizette Quintana Mancía. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Present. Hi, Olga. Very good. William Mauricio Alex García. I'm here. Thank you. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. Um, Ana Karin Solis López. Not here yet. All right. Veo que ya entró Elmer. Elmer lo vi por ahí. All right. Very good. Y vi también que entró Norma. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. Thank you for joining class today, Norma. Very good, guys. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Elmer. Yes. Thank you. I saw you already and I took your attendance. Very good. So guys, yesterday um, we were talking a little bit about, well, not a little bit, but we were talking a lot about count and uncount nouns, okay? Like non-countable nouns or countable nouns. We talked about many things about countable and uncountable nouns, okay? So, como es de costumbre, vamos a iniciar con el repaso, que me recuerden porque me hace me olvidó, Todo del count y non-count nouns, ok? So I don't remember anything, all right? So guys, vamos a empezar primero todo hablando, todo lo que se acuerden de los count nouns, all right? Then we're going to talk about non-count nouns, ok? So I want to hear you guys. What do you, sin ver el cuaderno, ok? No me hagan trampa. What do you remember about count nouns? De todo lo que se habló ahí, no me van a decir que nada porque si no, I will... Die, okay. What right. do you remember? Yeah, it's the... right. Sorry, right. Lisa. Right. Count or uncount nouns, Ellie? Count now. For the count nouns? Count now. Rice is not countable. Rice is not countable. Uh -huh. Rice is non countable. It's like you cannot count it. Right? Okay. What can we remember? Pero antes de, de dar ejemplos de lo que son los contables o no contables, hay cosas como bien específicas o bien puntuales que hablábamos ayer de los count nouns. All right, Kate, what do we remember? Tell me something, guys. Come on. Count nouns uh, can be uh, countable. countable. Yes, count nouns yes. can be countable. You can be counted. Yes. What else? Yeah. When we ask, we receive a, a, an answer with one number, number. Ah, okay. Very good, Galileo. Thank you. So, una de las primeras cosas, obviamente, los count nouns, we can count. All right? We can say 1, 2, 10, 100, 500, 1,000, 20,000, 1 million. All right? We can count it. That's number one. Number two. All right, Galileo, can you tell me what you said about number two? You can use a number. That's what you said, right? Yes. For example, right now I have 16 students. Okay, so I can say a number. Very good, Galileo. Someone else. A ver, ¿quién más se acuerda de los count nouns que hablábamos ayer? Cosas específicas de los count nouns. No. Count now is plural. Yes, very good, Ellie. Yes, count nouns can be singular. And they can be plural. Excellent, Ellie. Very good, Galileo. Very good, Elizabeth. Okay, what else? Alguien más? Someone else to tell me. Someone else to tell me about count nouns. Uh huh. Excuse me, Rana? Blanquita se le corta, fíjese, no le entiendo muy bien. El uso de A. Excellent, Blanca, very good. Yes, del indefinite article. Yes, del indefinite article, uh, Blanca. A or an. All right, very good. Only with countable nouns. Because A or an means how many? 
If I say I have a computer, how many computers do I have, guys? One computer. One computer, One. yes. If I say I, I don't know, I have, I don't know, an, um, something, I don't know, an umbrella. How many umbrellas do I have? One, two, three, how many? An umbrella. An umbrella. One. umbrella. One. Only one. Right. Very good. So, so we say that countable nouns, we can count them. We can use numbers. We can use indefinite articles, a uh, or an. They can be singular. They can be plural. Very good. What else? Do we have all the count nouns? We add only S, 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 S for everybody, for all the count nouns or not? No. We can use no. S, S, E, S, yes. uh -huh. e I, S, S. I, E, S, very good, very yes. good, yes. S, E, S, or I, E, S, very good. Only those only those ways of plural, or do we have? We different? have irregular. Excellent, irregular. yes, we have irregular count nouns, okay? Very good. Luis Manuel. A ver si se acuerda, Luis Manuel. Yo le regalo el singular y usted me regala el plural. ¿Ok? Yo le digo mouse. ¿Y usted me dice? <ríe> me dice, no, you don't say that. <ríe> Ajá, I tell you eh, mouse. Eh, I don't remember. It's ok, Luis Manuel, no se preocupe. Luis Alfonso, como es con Luis Manuel, hoy me paso a Luis Alfonso. A ver, Luis Alfonso, plural of mouse. I think mouse. No, Luis, what happened? All right. <laughs> no, it's not it mouse. Uh -huh. Mice. Yes, mice. mice. All right, very good. Si usted tiene una familia de ratoncitos por ahí, usted dice, I have many mice. No, dice mouses. All right, no, it's mice. Very good, excellent. That's okay. Carlos Antonio, ahí vamos con los Carlos. Tenemos a Carlos Antonio y Carlos Alfredo. A ver, pero no mire Carlos Antonio. You're looking at your notebook. Yes. I have a question, Jessica. I yes. have a question. Tell me, Eli. In, in my, in my, in plural is mice, but in animal. But si, pero si es el de la computadora, siempre va a ser mice. Uh, good question. No, I don't think so. I have many mouses. No, you know, ¿sabes que nunca lo he preguntado, Eli? <laughs> Me poncho. <laughs> lo voy a averiguar. Está curioso eso, de verdad. I, 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 you cannot say mice because it's not an animal. Quizás porque, quizás por ser objeto. Ajá, tal vez, puede no, ser. Pero... Puede ser. Very good. Good question, Eli. Déjenme averiguarle. Oye, me mejor tarea. <laughs> All right, entonces, estamos con Carlos, los Carloses, all right? A ver, Carlos Alfredo o Carlos Antonio. Que se me hizo Carlos Antonio. Ah, ya está. All right, Carlos Antonio. A ver, what is the plural? Se la voy a poner bien. All right, what is the plural of wife? No, vea, don't look at your notes. <laughs> No, me, no, no remember. You don't remember. Carlos Alfredo lo va a salvar. A ver, Carlos Alfredo, what is the plural of wife? I don't remember exactly, but I, wife and with. Wives. Yes, wives. Wives. All right. With wives. V. Pasa de F a ser V E S. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Olga Marina. A ver, Olga. Escoja a alguien por si acaso usted no puede responder. ¿Quién le va a ayudar, Olga? We have many students that can help you. Only one, Olguita, only one person. Ah, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, Olga, okay. Uh, Mr. Luis. <laughs> Mr. Luis. Luis, Luis Alfonso o Luis, o Luis Manuel. Luis Alfonso. Ah, ok, Luis Alfonso. A ver, vamos entonces. A ver, Olga, what is the plural of goose? 
What is the plural of goose? Uh, goose. 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 Okay, very good. Uh, Segura, are you sure? That's okay, <laughs> Luis Alfonso, help. Aha, uh -huh, Luis Alfonso. I see geese. Geese, yeah, very good, Luis. Geese, Olga, very nice. Yes, very good. Norma, what is, this is very easy, Norma. I know the answer. Alex is going to help you, okay? Norma, what is the plural of child? Children. Excellent. Very good, Norma. Very nice. Very good. Alex, no se me salva. A ver, Alex, what is the plural of person? Y si no, Galileo le ayuda. What is the plural of person? Persons? No, it's not persons, Alex. It's people. People, very good. All right. The oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That I, I don't listen to that pronunciation. Oh, I, I okay. Listen. Uh, yeah, person. Present, algo así. Ah, no, no, no. Sorry. All right. Person. Es de a persona, no person. Yes. Uh -huh. oh, very people. good. Exactly. Yes. Plural, people. Exactly. People. Very good. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Let's see. William. Hello. Hello, William. If you don't know the answer, Blanquita is going to help you. Okay, William. What is the plural of fish? Fish. I don't remember. Fish. Okay, Blanca, what is the okay. plural of fish? No, vea sus notas, ajá. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ajá, Blanca, what is the plural of fish? Y si no, Elisa, le ayuda, Blanca, no se preocupe, ajá. Eh, eh. Blanca, the plural of fish? Pero no se veía nada de... No, no, no. Okay, that's okay, Blanca. A ver, Eli, Wally, don't look at your notes, Eli. You're not, don't look at your notebook. No. <laughs> okay, very La good. <laughs> All right, so Eli, what is the plural of fish? Fish. 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 All right, yes, fish, fish. Very good. Excellent, nice. Thank you. Let's see. What is Galileo? If you don't know the answer, is going to help you, Galileo. What is the plural of ox? Ox. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I don't know. Teacher. Okay, that's okay, Judith. What is the plural of ox? What is ox? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big animal, like a cow, similar. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay, don't worry. A ver, a ver, ¿quién le va a ayudar? Dinora, what is the... Ay, Dinora, you have to help your boss. Dinora, what is the plural of ox, Dinora? Dinora. I don't know what is ox. <laughs> <laughs> That's a problem, right? Okay. Oxes. Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, no, it's not oxes. <laughs> Anybody that remembers what is the plural of ox? Oxen. Oxen. Very good, Luis Manuel. Very good. Ox, oxen. Very good. Okay. A ver. Yes. What is ox? You don't know what an ox is? Oh, I don't know. No. <laughs> an ox is, is, is like a cow. Similar to a cow, it's a whale. Un vaco. Ajá, un vaco. Yeah, all right. So, ox, oxen. A ver, y el último. A ver, ¿a quién le pregunto? José Eduardo. Si no sabe, le ayuda a Elmer. Y si Elmer no sabe, le ayuda a Karina. A ver, what is the plural of die? Die. Ajá. ¿Se acuerdan que era die? Die es dado. Es el plural of die, José Eduardo. ¿No? Ok, no se preocupe. Elmer le ayuda. Ajá, Elmer, what is the plural of die? Um, Elmer. 
Elmer. No. All right, the plural of die, ¿quién la sabe? Do you remember, Karina? Karina, do you remember the plural of die? No? All right, that's okay. Uh -huh. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, Elmer, I, I, don't, I have a very difficult time to listen to you right now. Suena como robotito. All right, do you guys remember? Do you remember the truth? I? No? Die. Dice. All right. So die is one. Dice. Yes. Very good. Y si tiene más de uno es dice. dice. All right. Yes. Very good. Dice. Okay. Very good, guys. A ver. Um, the plural of man. 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 Woman. Man. Woman. Women. 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 <laughs> yes. Very good. Excellent. All right, guys. Very good. Um, no sé cuál micrófono está abierto ahorita, que hay como un poquito de interferencia. I don't know. Ok, ok, so. Eh, William tienen abierto. Ya, yeah, yeah. solo William. Ya, yeah, William. All right, ok, thank you. All right, so. Does, sí, es el mío. I don't know, I don't think so. No, okay. you're ok. Um, thank you anyway, William. Ok, so. That is countable nouns, ok? Entonces, recordamos muchas cosas. El artículo indefinido, a or an, dependiendo del sonido de la siguiente palabra. All right. De, recordamos que podemos contestar con número 15, 20, 1 millón, 200 mil, whatever you want, ok? Podemos pluralizar ese singular y luego nos metimos en el tema de cómo pluralizamos esos count nouns, all right? No solamente le vamos a poner S. A veces tenemos que cambiarlo con ES, other times with IES, y por eso llegamos a los irregulares, y eso es donde estamos ahorita. All right, very good, guys. Okay, now, I want you to remind me about the uh, uncountable nouns. ¿Qué nos acordamos de los uncountable nouns? A ver, anybody. What do you guys remember about uncountable nouns? Like, like his name say? Yes. Not countable. Yeah, we cannot count. No, mm -hmm. That can be uh, countable. Yes. All right. They uh, cannot be I counted. Remember, uh -huh. I remember uh, can be abstract. Yes. You can see a whole part. Mm -hmm. And yes, only. All right, very good. So we can talk, they, they cannot be counted. All right, what else? Uh, he was saying that we cannot, um, they are abstract. Okay, what else do we remember about non count nouns? Can we count water, liquids? Can we count it? No, we can't. Can we count nice. feelings and emotions? No. Can we count subjects of a study like uh, social studies, science, mathematics? Can we count those? No, we can't. All right. What about categories? Recuerda que hablamos ayer de fruits, vegetables, all right? Uh, dairy products, can we count those? Clothing, furniture, can we count them? We can, Teacher, yes, Galileo. I have a question yes. about, uh, about uh, non countables. Uh -huh. But I need to make the question in Spanish. Yeah, go ahead, Galileo. Uh -huh. Go right okay. ahead. Para entenderla, Necesito preguntar en español para hacer lo, lo mejor que yo pueda. All right, okay. ayer, en la, ayer en la tarea había una pregunta que decía How much time do you need to... Uh -huh. No sé qué. Yeah. Y otra decía eh, Bueno, how much time uh -huh. and how much money do you need? Uh -huh. 
este, obviamente son non countables Right. ¿verdad? Pero ahí surgió mi, mi, mi duda, porque la respuesta puede ser contable. Es ¿Cuánto tiempo? 10 minutos. Eh, ¿Cuánto dinero? 50 dólares. Entonces la respuesta puede ser con un número. Pero yeah. entonces la pregunta es la que incide para determinar si usamos el how much y no el how many. Lo que pasa es que con tiempo, Galileo, eh, con tiempo siempre va a ser how much. How much time do you have? For example, you say, Jessica, how much time do I have uh, in this class left? And I say, ah, you have 30 minutes. You have one hour. All right. Acuérdese que time se vuelve dentro de la categoría de categoría. Del tiempo tenemos minutos, segundos y horas. Entonces, mi respuesta, igual que el dinero, puede ser contable. Yo le digo, how much money? Galileo, how much money do you have right now in your pocket? Usted se saca las monedas y los billetes y me dice, ten dólares. Con 30 centavos. All right? Su respuesta puede ser contable. Pero mi pregunta, porque es de tiempo y de dinero, siempre va a ser how much. Yo nunca puedo venir y le voy a decir, how many? How many time? Ahora. Ojo con time, porque time es tiempo y times es veces. La traducción es diferente. Yo le digo, how many times did you try the exam? Or how many times did you try to do this exercise? Entonces, times con S se traduce como veces, no como tiempos. All right. Entonces, ahí podría ser la confusión también a veces. Yo sé que no era su pregunta, Galileo, pero ya que lo ha preguntado, tengo que igual aclarar. Entonces, time, tiempo sí. siempre va a ser like how much, porque es no contable time, porque es un conjunto. Ahora, en su respuesta, como usted lo desglosa a minutos, segundos y horas, usted puede perfectamente decir two hours, all right, o two hours and 30 minutes, or 15 minutes, all right, o yo le digo, how much is this pen? How much, ¿por qué how much? Porque es dinero. Ahora usted me dice, it's 25 cents, perfecto. All right, it's okay, Galileo, all right. Pero siempre la pregunta va a ser con time y money, much. How much? Because they are non-countable. All right, ya de sus respuestas ya se deriva las unidades. Uh -huh. All right, Galileo. You, yeah, you're very welcome. Very good. Excellent. I like your question. Very good. Guys, do you guys understand what I'm talking about? Do you have any other questions about countable and uncountable nouns? ¿Queda claro el, how, el, perdón, el contable y no contable? Yeah? Or do you have any questions? All right, thank you. Okay, very good. Ahora, el, la palabra much, que yo lo voy a poner dentro de mi pregunta, how much, lo voy a usar por countable or uncountable nouns, guys. How much? Anybody? Un uncountable. Uncountable. Siempre va a ser uncountable. How much? All right. Si yo le digo how many, va a ser for what? Countable or uncountable? Countable. Always, always is going to be countable. Así es que usted tenga una hermana o tenga 20 hermanos. All right, countable. No, no delimita la cantidad. Se refiere porque lo puedo contar. Yo le puedo decir how many people live in El Salvador. And you can say 5 million or 6 million. Ya ni sé ni cuántos somos. 6 million, all right, or whatever the, the, the amount of people that we have in El Salvador. Okay, so if we can count them. Nos tomaría. Mucho tiempo, pero para eso hay censos. All right, so we think that we're about 6 million people in El Salvador, or maybe more. Okay, so how much is always for uncountable, and how many is always for uncountable. Okay, very good, guys. I want to do the following. Vamos a, al manual ahorita, eh, hacer un ejercicio chiquitito que estaba en la página que estábamos ayer, creo que era la 14. And then we finish that exercise. And I have one exercise for you, okay? Jessica. Dígame, Eli. Jessica, sorry. No, tell me. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Este, de lo que dijo Galileo. Galileo creo que se llama. Sí, sí, sí. Mm -hmm. Cuando, cuando se, se refiere la how much money, 
pero es cuando uno está preguntando en general. Pero creo, creo que cuando vamos a preguntar de cuántas monedas, entonces sí sería how many. Claro. Pero ahí ya ¿Cuántas no... monedas tiene? Exacto, pero ahí billetes. hablamos de monedas o billetes, exacto. Ajá. Esas, esas unidades comprenden mm. el, to, el conjunto de dinero. All right. Yo vengo y le digo, Eli, ¿cuántos, ¿cuántos centavos tiene? Le digo, how many pennies do you have? Y usted me dice, ten pennies. O le digo, how many bills do you have? ¿Cuántos billetes? Usted me dice, three bills. Puede ser que de 5 dólares cada uno, de 100 dólares cada uno, de 10 dólares cada uno. I don't know. Pero le estoy preguntando no de cuánto dinero tiene en general, sino que cuántos billetes tiene. Entonces ahí sí, Eli, ahí se vuelve contable. Porque estamos hablando de la unidad mm. del conjunto. El conjunto en sí es money. El conjunto en sí es tiempo. Aunque ¿Okay? yo le puedo decir, you, en el siguiente ejercicio tienen 10 segundos. Y usted me dice, how many seconds? 10 seconds, all right? Porque de los, lo divide, lo, lo, nos estamos refiriendo a la unidad de tiempo. La unidad de medida visitas. específica. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Right. O sea, que el, 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 el money and time es general. Es, sí. es una categoría. Es, es una categoría. Y la, todas las categorías tienen bueno. subcategorías. Sí, tienen este unidades. Caso, Exactamente, entonces mm -hmm. si en este caso preguntáramos por las unidades específicas, sería how many. Porque yo le digo, a yo le digo a ustedes, unidades. por ejemplo, how many hours are there in a day? Y usted me dice 24, porque estoy haciendo la pregunta específica de la o, cuántas horas, y las horas las puedo contar. One hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, ten hours. Ok, usted me dice, los niños preguntan, ¿cuántos segundos hay en un minuto? How many seconds are there in a minute? Ahí sí se vuelve. Pero cuando yeah. yo me refiero al conjunto, time y money es how much, es no contable. Ok. I got it. Very good. Eso es cuando es general, teacher. Perdone, eh, Manuel. Es cuando es general, porque yo me recuerdo que de igual manera con Gal eh, me pasó lo mismo que Galileo, que en el... En las la preguntas tarea. que están en la plataforma también me salió mal. La, yo que le puse how many, pero creo que es, eh, o sea, hasta después lo, como que lo, corre, eh, lo corregí, pues. Claro. Pero yo pensé que era diferente, así, how many, pero creo que es how much cuando ¿Sí? se habla de tiempo. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Entonces yo le puedo decir how much time. Do you spend studying English a week? You say me say 10 hours. All right? Yes. Porque usted es, estudia o dedica a estudiar inglés, por ejemplo, 10, 10 horas a la semana conmigo. Now, pero como yo referí al tiempo en general, puede ser desde media hora, 5 minutos, 15 minutos, 8 horas. Entonces su respuesta se vuelve contable, pero mi pregunta con time y money siempre va a ser how much. Sí, ahora, okay. ahora comprendo el concepto de categoría. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good. Ok, Thank very you. nice. Thank you. A ver, por eso es importante, y yo sé que algunos lo entendemos más rápido que otros, pero por eso para mí es muy importante el repaso de la clase anterior, porque de repente siempre surgen eh, preguntas o de repente dudas así como, ah, pero, 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 no entendí bien. Entonces no tenía bien claro el concepto de categoría, por ejemplo. ¿verdad? Entonces sí es bien importante que usted eh, se nos tomemos el tiempo del repaso porque sí necesito que le quede claro, porque seguimos moviéndonos, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's why. Do you guys have any other question? No, no more questions. Ok, super, very good. Okay. In future, en el caso de meseros, también es un eh, mesero y meseros. ¿Sí? Es irregular now. Uh, waiter and waitress. Waiter and waiters, no. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Lo, que, no. lo que pasa es que difiere, Luis Manuel, en femenino, de los pocos en inglés que difieren por género, masculino o femenino. We, si usted fuera un mesero, yo le digo, you are a waiter. Pero si mm. Olga es una mesera, le digo, she's a waitress. Pero es por mm. género, no por plural o singular. Oh, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Thank you. All right, perfect, guys. So, let's go back here. Eh, en su manual, oh, no lo tengo abierto. <laughs> Hold on, guys. Uh, Deme one second here. Okay. So here we go. 
and let's go to your book right now. How come I can this right here? Okay, so yesterday we saw this, okay? Now, mira aquí el cuadrito que, estamos, que estaba a la par de la conversación de ayer. Dice expressions to ask about money. Todo lo que tenga que ver con dinero es much. Everything. Number one, how much do they pay? Usted va a entrar a un trabajo y su amigo lo conecta y le dice, ¿cuánto pagan? Mira, ¿y cuánto pagan? Ah, pagan tanto. All right, how much? Because it's money. How much do they pay? ¿Cuánto cobran? How much do they charge? Usted va a un almacén y dice, how much is it? All right. How much do you earn every month? Or how much do you earn monthly? All right, so if you notice these four questions, they refer to money, okay? If they refer to money, is how much, always. Okay. Usted me pregunta, teacher, ¿cuánto pagó por esos zapatos? How much did you pay? No importa si está en presente, pasado, futuro. El money is always going to be how much, okay? Yes, all right, very good. Now, let's do this one here, number three. Circle do. Si no tiene el manual, escríbalo en el cuaderno donde está usted eh, tomando apuntes. Number, it says circle the word that best completes the questions. Number one, how much do they pay or how many do they pay? Which one is correct, guys? How much? How, how much? much do they pay? Very good. Number two, how much days do you have in your vacation? Or how many days do you have in your vacation? How many? How many? Because we talk about days. Y los días y los puedo contar. All right, se me dice five days on my vacation. 21 days. 15 days. I don't know. Let's do this. Esto se los, los, uh, lo vamos a hacer aquí juntos, pero piénselo usted. Solito ahí o solita. Use one of the questions above to complete the mini conversations. De, de, estamos hablando de esas expresiones aquí. Mire la respuesta. It is 10.50. Number two. It, I make $545 monthly. Number three. They take $23 per item. And number four. The company pays $690 with bonuses. Okay. All these questions, they are from here. Mire la respuesta. Guíese por la respuesta para tener la pregunta. ¿Cuál fue la pregunta aquí? All right. Le doy un par de minutos para que lo contesten. All right, finished? Yes? No, finish it? Oh, no, teacher. Okay, let me know oh, when you finish. Okay, that's okay.
Ready, teacher. Thank you. All right, Luis Alfonso, number one. Ask me the question for number one. How much is it? How much is it? Yes. Very good, Luis. How much is it? And I say it is $10.50. Very good, Luis Alfonso. Very nice. Uh, let me see. Um, number two, teacher. Yes, number two. How much do you earn ever my mom or monthly? Monthly. How much do you earn every month or how much do you earn monthly? Very good, William. Yes, that's number two. Gonzalo, can you do number three, Gonzalo? <clears throat> Gonzalo, can you do number three? Hola, estaba tratando de, de completar la oración, pero en lo que me enfoqué, hay una palabrita que no me acuerdo en inglés. Okay, that's okay. All right, let's see, that's okay. Um, Ellie, can you do number three? Maybe uh, number three. Uh -huh. how, how much do they change? Do they charge? Yes, how much do they charge? Very good, yes. And you say they take $23 per item. Okay, very good, thank you, Ellie. And the last one, um, Bea? Can you do number four? The company pays $690 with bonuses. How much do they pay? That's right. How much do they pay? Right? Very good. How much do they pay? The company pays $690 with bonuses. Perfect. Thank you. Let me see something here. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing this right now for a second and I'm gonna show I'm gonna share with you the exercise. Okay. The exercise, please take a picture, and it's not very difficult, it's how much or how many, but the idea is to put together reading the um the sentences. All right, maybe it's easy, but I want you to practice your reading, okay. So this is what I have here for you guys. Let me just give me one second. Uh, where is it? It's right here. Yeah. Okay. Van a ser como dos fotos porque no le van a caber en una sola. A ver. Please take a picture of this. It says how much or how many. Okay. So here you have. Tómele foto que le salga de la uno a la ocho. All right, let me know when you finish. Finished? Ready. Excellent. Yes. And now take a picture of Ahí. from 9 to 20. Okay. All right, now. Voy a dejar de compartir. I'm going to stop sharing right now. As I, yes. Puede repetir la primera. Yes, Carlito, of course. Sorry, thank you. No, that's okay. Ahí está. Yeah. Ready? Yes. Okay, all right. So what, what, you, what you're going to do is very easy, all right? You have to decide. Aquí vamos a trabajar nada más con how much, how many, okay? Pero lea todo lo que dice con su compañero y compañera para que practique su lectura, su pronunciación y vocabulario, all right? So let's go, guys. Let's go to your groups and work on this one right here. So we have uh, nine participants. There we go. Oh, Carlita's baby is here. <laughs> Okay, very good, guys. Let's go to your groups, please.
Eli, Beatriz, and Alex, you can go to your groups now. ¿Cómo voy al grupo? Es que hoy no estoy de la compu y me está costando. Ah, Beita, ¿no le ha salido la invitación, Bea? No. ¿Está en celular ahora? Sí. No sé por qué está fallando la compu. Ya. A ver, Bea, la voy a volver a mover a otro grupo a ver si le sale la, la invitación, oye. Can you check now, Bea?
everybody back now? Maybe. Yeah. I All think right. so. Yeah. I'm gonna do some work. Did you finish, guys? Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. All right. Very good. Let's see, guys. I'm just gonna share with you so you guys help me read this and then you give me the answer anyway. So we can practice pronunciation and we can also check the answers here. Number one, Carlita. Uh, the number one is how many? Léamela toda de un solo, Carlita, okay? Uh, how many uh, cats are there in the garden? How many cats are there in the garden? Many. How many cats? Very good. Thank you, Carla. Carlos Antonio, number two. How many students are there in the classroom? Excellent. Very good. Blanca Elizabeth, number three. Blanca? Perdón, no había encendido el micrófono. That's okay. Number three. How much milk is, is there in the bottle? Excellent. How much milk is there in the bottle? Very good. Luis Manuel, number four. Number four is, how many eggs do you need for the cake? Excellent. Very good. Galileo, number five. How much orange juice do you drink a day? Very good, thank you. Alex, six, please. Your microphone, Alex. How much money do you earn a month? Excellent, very nice. Thank you, Luis Alfonso, number seven. Luis Alfonso, number seven. How many legs does a cow have? Yes, very good. How many legs does a cow have? Very good. Um, Gonzalo, can you do number eight? Number eight. Mm -hmm. How much cheese yes. do you eat at breakfast? Excellent, very good. Olga, can you do number nine, please? I'm gonna move it over, number nine. Number nine is how much? Uh, number nine? How much? Segura. How much chickens chickens does your grandma have? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Podemos contar las chickens o no, Olga? Uh, Algunas veces sí, pero a veces no. Pero en, <laughs> sí, de hecho tiene razón. Eh, pero en este caso, como está pluralizado, chickens se vuelve contable. Chickens yes. es incontable. Ajá. Ven, ven una granja, me en este contar, caso sería. Pero igual, sí. después, all right, how ma, a menos que usted cuando vaya a partir el pollo le pregunte a alguien cuánto pollo quieres comer, entonces ahí sí se vuelve no contable. Pero chickens, los animalitos, o sí. O, ajá. En este caso sería, how many chickens does your grandma have? Number 10, Ana Judith. How many apples are there in the basket? Yes, how many apples in the basket? Very good, thank you. Jose Eduardo, can you read number 11? Um, ¿Cuál teacher? ¿Cuál me preguntó? Perdón, que no, el internet se me va. 11. No once. Many, how much? How much? Eh. How much or how many, Jose? How much? How much? Yes, very good. How much? How much time? Very good. How much time do we have for the exam? Thank you. Thank you. All right, very good. Um, Karina, can you do number 12? Perdón, número que me dijo. Hola. No, number 12, Karina. Um, 
no le entiendo, teacher. La número 12. House. Número 12. Sí. Hot mush. No. Hot mush. Podemos contar, con, podemos contar los cuartos, Karina. Sí, yes. Uh -huh. how, many? Sí. how many or how much? Okay, how many? How many? Very good, thank you. Elmer, can you do number 13, Elmer? Okay. How much meat do uh -huh. you want? Do you want to front the bulk? Butchers, butchers, uh -huh. Uh -huh. el carnicero, very good, thank you. Uh, Carlos Alfredo, number 14. I'm sorry. Uh, how much honey do you eat every day? How much honey do you eat every day? Perfect, very nice. Um, Eli, can you do number 15, please? How many how many cities are in the your country? Yes, how many cities are there in your country? Very good, thank you. Norma, can you do number sixteen? Uh, how much water do you drink a day? Perfect, very good, thank you. Dinora, can you do number seventeen? Dinora. 17, how many pencils has David got? Very good, thank you. Beatriz, can you do number 18? Maybe she cannot answer right now. All right, let's see. Um, Alex, can you do number 18, Alex? No, number 18. Alex, le, su micrófono está apagado, Alex. Your microphone is off. Oh. Number 18. How, how many homework do we have? Mm. A ver, ya vamos a regresar a la 18. Galileo, number 19. Also 20. Ajá, uh -huh, Galileo. Uh, how much sugar do you want for your tea? Yeah, how much sugar do you want for your tea? Very good. Le hace falta el UAE. And Luis Alfonso, can you do number 20, please? Luis Alfonso? Mm -hmm. How many toys yes. are in the baby room? Excellent. Very good. All right. William, a ver, William, revise la 18. ¿Cómo la tiene usted? How many or how much? Es how much, porque las tareas no se pueden contar. Yeah. All right, very good. En ese caso, para tareas siempre, 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 homework va a ser así. Es no contable. How much homework do we have? All right, porque el tipo de tarea que usted puede tener, si se, es homework, lo vemos como una categoría. Usted puede tener tarea de ciencia, de matemática, de inglés, whatever, all right, o de hacer algo en el trabajo. Entonces, homework siempre va a ser non-countable, all right? So it's always going to be uncountable noun, all right? Teacher, yes. uh, one question. In, in, in every case is that, because um, I, I, I can have one homework to one home, homework. Yeah, yeah. Because, because at the, tomorrow I have one homework. Yes. So it's, it's countable. No, it's always going to be non-countable. All right. You say I have a, you have, I have homework or I have a lot of homework. All right. Entonces, lo ven, lo, ellos lo toman como una categoría, Alex. Okay. This is homework. No podemos decir homeworks. Es, es right. este, reglas. So. Yes. Uh -huh. Igual que okay. consejo. Nosotros en español decimos yo, te di varios. Y lo pluralizamos. En inglés no. 
yo le doy an advice o le doy a lot of advice, pero no digo advices. Okay. All right, very good. Igual homework. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, thank okay. you. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Let's go. Ah, no, tenemos que tomar la asistencia de ahorita. All right. Um, Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. I'm here, teacher. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. I'm here. Yes, thank you, Beatriz. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Eh, Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Here I am. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Very good. Carlos Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. Present. Edwin Balmore Flores Gómez. Hey, what happened to Edwin? He's not here today. Uh, Elmer Ubaldo Ramírez Cruz. Present. Francisca Elizabeth Martínez Gámez. I am here. Thank you, Gonzalo Valle Valle. I'm here, teacher. Jose Eduardo Guzmán Álvarez. Present, teacher. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernández. I'm here, teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. Here I am, teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Present, teacher. Thank you. Um, Norma Lisset Quintana Mancía. I'm here. Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. I'm here. William Mauricio González García. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Pérez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz García. Present teacher. And Ana Karin Solis López. All right, she's not here today. All right, very good, guys. Let's go back to our books right now i just want to um finish your manual here just give me a second that i have the other yeah it's here okay let's go back to our books on page 15 okay that's what we're gonna be working on right now and we have this okay it says here uh this is page 15 it says, read the welcoming letter to Dominic's new job and answer the questions below. It says, for a better future, dear employee. Welcome to Traverse Inc. Congratulations, you are now part of the Traverse family. Here is some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, junior sales manager. Key job duties. No me voy a decir que, it's key. Key job duties, all right? Have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our products. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year plus public holidays, salary, $440 per month, plus bonus, good luck, Mark Travers, CFO, okay? Now, this is the information that you have here for this lady, all right? Check the pronunciation or check the vocabulary here, all right, and let me know if you have any questions about everything that they say. Look it over. Léalo otra vez si gusta. Y si hay algún vocabulario que no sabe. Do we understand all the vocabulary? The vocabulary, it's okay? A question, teacher. Um, well, yes. Please, uh, please wait in carefully, carefully, carefully. Uh, where is it, Luis? Uh, carefully. 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 Carefully.
con cuidado. Cuidadosamente. Cuidadosamente. Uh -huh. um, thank you. Yes, very good. We very, uh, you're welcome, Liz. A ver, ¿alguien más tenía other questions? Some girls, I think. What is key duties? Key job. Key job duties son como responsabilidades claves del trabajo. Mm, en este caso, key you. no se traduce como llave, sino que como clave. Mm, mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, very good. Someone else? No? Everything no. okay? Okay, perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. El signo más, el, el signo más. Plus. Okay, siempre se pronuncia plus. Siempre. Sí, siempre, siempre. Uh -huh. Okay, thank yeah, you. Very good, thank you. Very good. Okay, so what I want you to do now, based on this what we here, I want you to answer questions one, two, three, and four. ¿Cómo la va a contestar? Poniendo true o poniendo false. False dependiendo o true dependiendo de lo que dice acá. All right, lo vamos a dejar aquí. Lo voy a, lo voy a seguir compartiendo para que ustedes puedan eh, contestar number one, number two, number three, and number four. Ok, les doy un par de minutitos para seguir con lo que está después. Let me know when you finish.
All right, guys, let's see. Number one, Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. It's true, true. or false? It's true. 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 All right, true. very good. Yes, true. it is. Her salary is $100 per week. It's false. False. It's false. false. All right. How much is her salary, guys? It's true. Four hundred, right? Four hundred and forty. Very good. Yes. Four hundred and forty dollars. Yes. Dominique gets a yearly vacation. False. True. It's false, false or true? True. 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 She and has she... two weeks true. yearly. Uh huh. Two weeks. Because don't 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 work on holiday. Yeah. All right. Very good. She has to work on holidays? False. False, False. right? Yeah, she doesn't False. have to work on holidays. Excellent, guys. Very good. Good job. All right. Let's continue here. Uh, it says, I will be able to talk about financial information and work perks. Okay. How many? Uh, all right. How many days a week do you work? How much time do you have to complete your task? Okay. So these are like questions that we could answer. We are going to go over with the um, conversation here. Let me just see something here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's go back here. It says, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for, uh, for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time left. Absolutely. All right. A ver, necesito un Jeff. Salió un Mario por ahí. A ver, Ben and Jeff. Y Mario va a ser siempre Ben, I guess. Ben and Jeff. I need two people. Me. Thank you, Bea. Okay, someone else? Uh, me. Okay, perfect. So, Bea, you can be Ben, and then the other person can be Jeff. Okay. Jeff. How are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weeks, four weeks days, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money? Do they pay for each extra hour? Oh, wow, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Bea, continue, please. That was very loud. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time right. Beita, you can read the, the last line. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes, very good. Thank you, guys. A good reading. All right, two more. I need another Ben and I need another Jeff. Me, hey, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, hey, perfect. Teacher. Okay. So, um, Galileo, you're Ben. And who said me, teacher, that it was a girl? Me, teacher. Ellie. All right, oh, Ellie, I'm sorry, Ellie. <laughs> Go ahead, Galileo, you're Ben, and Ellie, you are Jeff. Okay, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work four uh, weekdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work ex do you work ex or out? Extra um, hours. Mm -hmm. Ex hour. Um how much money do you pay for extra hour? Yes. 
I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Galileo. The last two, two more. And then we check pronunciation. Two more. I need a Ben and I need a Jeff. I teacher. Okay, me. thank you, Luis. And who said me? Was it William? Me, Alex. Ah, oh, perfect. Okay, so Luis, Luis Alfonso, you're going to be Ben, and Alex, you're going to be Jeff. All right. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around 10 bucks. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Excellent, guys. Thank you, Luis. Thank you, Alex. Perfect reading. All right, guys. Very good. Um, check if you wanna um, if you wanna check on your pronunciation. A ver. Um, acuérdese que many how many, verdad? No va a ser how many ni nada del por el estilo. Es how many days a week do you work? I work five days a week. That's great. All right, esa, esa T de great debe sonar, that's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays, eh, on Saturdays, eh, sometimes la M es como some y times, verdad, sometimes. Really, on Saturdays, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour. The pronunciation is each extra hour. Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Is it right as a question? Es como verdad? All right, y le contesta el otro compañero, absolutely, all right. No sé si tienen alguna eh, question with the pronunciation, guys, o estamos bien, are we okay? Yes? I have a question. Galileo, tell me. Uh, ben, in the three lines. Okay. That's great, I work four weekdays. Uh -huh. Cuatro semanas, todos los no. días. No, él trabaja cuatro días de la semana. Mm. For weekday. Uh -huh. okay. Porque está el weekend, ¿verdad? Entonces lo separan de week y weekend. So uh -huh. in this case, probably he works from Monday through Thursday, maybe. Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Yes, Luis. En el ejercicio anterior, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, ok. Fast, true o false. Eh, hay otra palabra fake que se puede usar como falso, no opera ahí. Fake. Luis, no le escucho muy bien, discúlpeme. Ok, tenemos las dos palabras, true y false. Hola. Sí, sí, sí. Eh, las dos palabras, repítamelas. True y false. Ah, true. sí, sí, sí. True o false. Sí, sí, sí. False, false, ok. Y la otra palabra, fake, no se puede ocupar como falso ahí. Sí, fake. pero sí. Cuando, cuando alguien dice, ah, hey, this is fake, es como no real, ¿verdad? No es falso. Es falso. Pero eh, cuando hablamos de ejercicios, Luis, siempre, va, siempre lo va a ver como true and false. No como fake. Uh -huh. Oh, Oh. All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yo veo un algo en las noticias, por ejemplo, le digo, that's fake news. All right, oh. ahí se sí aplica el fake, oh. pero oh. En, en, en los ejercicios siempre va a ser 
true or false yes All right it's like okay. informal yeah um, for fake is in yeah you can say it's informal but it's okay to use it but for these type of exercises it's always going to be true or false mm -hmm. okay. okay thank you Thank you, Luis. Very good. Galileo, did you have another question, Galileo? Eh, no, but yo iba a decir que fake es así como, como un modismo, pienso yo, es lo que pienso, como decir, eh, esa es paja, como en El Salvador. <laughs> pienso yo, no sé si es correcto. Mm, tal vez no tan, tan como paja, pero casi llegando. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. All right, like a lie, right? Very good, like fake fake news. Very good, thank you. <laughs> like not real, very good. All right, thank you, Luis. Here. Eh, Revisaron ahí si necesitan pronunciación de esa conversación or vocabulary or are we okay? No problem, yeah, okay. All right, guys, let's Everything. see. Excellent, thank you. All right, circle the words that best complete the questions. Number one, it says, how much or how many hours a day do you work? What is the right way, guys? How much or how many? How many? How, how, many? how many? How many? How many? Acuérdese que las horas pertenecen a la categoría de tiempo. How many hours? All right, porque hablamos de horas y las horas son contables. How much or how many they pay per hour? How much? How much? Very good. How much? Okay, very good. Is here says how to use how much? I uh, mean, how to use how many and how much? How many? Judith, uh, can you read this for me, Judith, please? Uh, solo uno y dos. Okay. Uh, everything versus how many? Luego abajo. How many? Then, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. How many for countable nouns, hours, days, weeks, years, etc. Yeah, etc. Yes. Etc. Uh, number one, how many days a week do you rest? Okay. And number two, how many hours a day do you work? Perfect. Very good. Um, can you read how much, Norma? Norma, Norma, no. Hi, teacher. Yes, Norma, can you read how much, please? How much? Mm -hmm. uh, the question. Everything. How much? Uh, how much time do you do we have? Yes. All right. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Norma. So it says how much for uncountable nouns, money, time, etc. How much money do they pay for extra hour? or how much time do we have okay so here we have that guys let's see let's do this right now this exercise instructions read the sentences and fill in the blanks with many or much number one guys money is in a bank how, i mean much or many much how much Much. How much? Yeah, how much money is in a bank? Very good. Number two, paper. Does a printer need? How many? How much? How, how much? much? How much paper? How much? Yes. All right. Papel en general decimos paper. How much? Sheets of paper. Sería how many? All right. Okay. Very good. Number three, hours a day does he work? How many? How many? How many? How many? Very good. How many? Yes. Number four. Information is on the internet. How much? How much? Information. How much? Very good. How much information is on the internet? Number five. Days a week do you rest? How, How many? many? How many? How many? How many? Perfect. Perfect. Very good. And the last one. How many? How many? How many? Yes. How employees. How many? Many. Very good. All right. All right, guys. Um, antes de pasar al, al, al otro tema o repasar el otro tema, porque ya lo hemos venido viendo, lo hemos venido viendo, si se dice. Lo hemos visto. All right. Uh, negative sentences in simple. I'm forgetting my Spanish now. 
in simple present, all right, do you have any questions about countable and uncountable nouns hasta ahorita? ¿Estamos bien con eso o tenemos alguna pregunta con eso? ¿No? ¿Ya nos queda un poco más claro? Yes. Yeah, a lot. All right. Okay, very good. There. Um, yes. Okay, very good, guys. Igual. In case, you have, <laughs> in case you have any other questions, you may let me know. Okay, so we're going to continue. We are going to review negative statements in simple present. Review porque esto ya lo hemos visto desde el módulo 1 y lo hemos visto al principio esta semana, okay? Cuando hablamos del simple present negative, we use two auxiliaries. We use don't and we use doesn't. Okay, in, in English, you cannot say, for example, I know it. Yo le voy a entender si usted me dice, I know it. All right, but that's not correct. You say, I don't eat. Okay, so for, or in English, when you want to say negative, you say don't. Okay, tiene el por qué, porque así es. All right, no decimos, no, en español decimos, yo no como, eso es en español. But in English, you say, I don't eat. I don't understand. I don't speak Chinese. Okay? Ese es con el don't. El don't le pertenece a I, you, we, they. So we say, we don't speak Chinese. O no sé si habrá alguien que lo hable por aquí. But I think we don't speak Chinese. Okay? We don't, um, I don't know, we don't, I don't know, we don't play, all right? Or you don't take a shower, or they don't cook, all right? Para todas esas es no, es como que usted está diciendo no, de hecho es como, es, es decir no, okay? Ahora, when we talk about he, she, and it, we say doesn't. Doesn't. All right, so I say William doesn't play tennis. Or maybe, I yes. don't know. <laughs> Very good. I say exactly. Elizabeth doesn't, I don't know, Elizabeth doesn't take uh, the bus every day. She doesn't take the bus, all right? Luisa and Carlos Antonio don't or doesn't? Guys? Luis Alfonso and Carlos Antonio. Hey, uh -huh. It's done. Don't, because there are two. All right. Si se vuelve, ya se vuelve they. All right. What happens if I tell you my mother? My mother doesn't or my mother don't? Doesn't. My mother doesn't. All right. Very good. What if I say your sisters don't doesn't. or your sisters doesn't? Very good. <laughs> si yo digo your sister, only one, uh, okay, yes. sería doesn't. Very good. All right, very good. So we re we really need to remember don't and doesn't. So we make this negative sentence. Y como eso ya lo sabemos, ¿no? que vamos a ver como otra presentación al respecto, porque esto es como el repaso del simple present that we have talked about. But we need to go to the book again so we can see what they tell us about here. All right. So we are on page um, 18. All right. Very good. Solo, guys, solo pedirles. De, siempre traten de tener como las cámaras encendidas el mayor tiempo posible, please. All right. A ver, eh, grammar extra practice. Eh, simple presence for simple present for third person singular and plural negative statements. Okay. How do you use simple present negative statements? She does not. Yo lo puedo dejar así. Does not, or I can contract it and I say she doesn't. ¿Cuándo puedo usar doesn't o cuándo puedo usar does not? Cuando usted quiera. All right. No hay una regla que yo solo diga, ah, no, cuando va a hablar así, entonces es doesn't. Obviamente, si usted dice, 
Por ejemplo, yo le digo, Galileo does not help me. All right? That's not true, Galileo. You're always helping. All right? Yes. Uh, it, it's more emphatic. All right? So it, it has a bigger impact. So cuando usted quiere hacer como, un, como muy enfático y decir, no, Galileo no me ayuda. Galileo does not help me. All right? Or I say, Galileo doesn't help me. All right, so either or, no importa. Usted puede usar does not or doesn't and it's okay. Lo mismo con el don't o el do not. So they do not have much time or they don't have much time. Okay, now how do we make this? We make it like this. Subject, auxiliary, do or does plus not plus verb plus the complement. Pregunto, este verbo aquí para tercera persona singular va a llevar cambio o no? When we use uh, the auxiliary, the verb is the same, no change. Okay. The... No. A ver, Galileo, re, re, rehágame esa oración última que me acaba de decir. Uh, when we use uh, the auxiliary, uh -huh. we don't use, uh, uh, uh -huh. the verb is no, don't have change. <laughs> okay, the verb, the verb is singular or plural, Galileo. El que me está usando usted ahorita en la oración. You say the uh, verb don't or the verb doesn't, Galileo. Is singular, the uh -huh. verb. Entonces decimos the verb don't or doesn't. Doesn't. Is ah, okay. Three person. Yes, it, yes, the verb doesn't change. Doesn't change. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Thank excellent, you. Galileo. Now I'm just speaking on you today. <laughs> All right. Very good, guys. Let's see. So, acuérdese que este verbo does not change when you have the auxiliary doesn't. Okay. Now, Maria, number one. Elmer, can you read number one, please? Elmer? Maria doesn't work at HPBC. Elmer, lea la otra vez. <laughs> Maria doesn't not ah, work oiga, at oiga ahí, HPBC. Oígase ahí, Elmer. María, eso es lo que estoy oyendo oh. yo. Corríjame si yo le estoy oyendo doble aquí. El sonido, ¿ok? De la internet. Culpemos la internet, ¿ok? María does not. O María doesn't. Cuidado con decir María doesn't not. Porque es como que estamos diciendo no dos veces. All right. O es María doesn't o María does not. All right. Yo creo que era la Inter el mere. A ver, inténtelo otra vez. María does not work Excellent. at HPBC. Se arregló la conexión, Elmer. Super. Very good. Excelente. Nice. Very good. Thank you. All right. Blanca, number two, Blanquita. Marco does not stay late at work. Excellent. Very good. Yes. Nice. Conexión perfecta. Karina, number three. Juan e y Pedro do not which report. Yes, Juan and Pedro do not no. write. Yes, do not. El do pareciera como que es una U, Karina, oye. Juan and Pedro do not write reports. Excellent. Carla, ¿Lo voy a repetir? Marín. Yes, por favor, ok. Juan e y Pedro do not which report. Excellent, very good, thank you, perfect. Carla Marisol Arbaiza, number four. We don't, we don't, sorry, we do not send letters. A letters. ver, Carlita, eh, el do es como que fuera una U. We don't. Ok. We do not. Ok, si es contractado me va a decir we don't send we letters. Don't. Si es separado, uh -huh. we do not. We do not. Very good. Okay. 
Very good, guys. Okay. So what I want you to do here, okay? I want you, aquí dice, eh, lo vamos a modificar un poquito, no hay problema. Uh, quiero que me escriba six sentences that you don't do. Things that you don't do. For example, in my case, yo podría poner la número uno, I do not drink coffee. All right. <laughs> Number two, podría, siempre pensando sobre mi, ya sea el trabajo, sobre mi vida personal, digamos. I do not eat seafood. All right. Number three, I do not speak French. Y así hasta llegar a las seis. Cosas sobre usted que no hace, ya sea in your work or in your personal life. Voy a dejar de compartir porque aquí no vamos a ver nada. Usted lo escribe en su cuaderno or on your negative sentences about you. ¿Ok? Empiecen a hacer sus sentences, please. Y vamos, vamos cuando, re, cuando ya estemos compartiendo sus oraciones, todos tienen que estar atentos. Porque de repente yo le voy a decir, ajá, José Eduardo, ¿qué es lo que no hace Galileo? Y, y José Eduardo va a decir, ah, Galileo doesn't, porque José Eduardo no es Galileo. All right, very good. Entonces, everybody paying attention. Finish your sentences? Yes. Okay, thank you, Carlos. Very good. Everybody else is finished? Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Alex. We're going to wait for the rest of your classmates to finish. Finish, teacher. Thank you, Galileo. Very good. Finish. Thank you, Ellie. Very good. Finish. Okay, Carlita. Very nice. One more <coughs> minute, guys, so we hurry up so we can share. Finish, teacher. Thank you, William. Judith finished, Blanquita finished, Jose Eduardo, Man Luis Manuel, Beatriz, Norma finished. Yes, teacher, I finished. Thank you, very good. Well, teacher. Excellent, thank you, Luis. Olga finished. Finished. Yeah, Beatriz finished, thank you, Norma. Carlos Alfredo finished. Finished. Thank you. Yes. Okay, perfect. Carlos Antonio finished also? Yes. Excellent. Elmer finished. Gonzalo finished? Yeah, okay. 
Okay. All right, guys. Very good. All right. Let's see. Carlita, of your six sentences, tell me two. Only two sentences. So I can listen to most of you guys. Uh -huh. uh, I, go, I do not read a book. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I don't write at night. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay. Alex, tell me one activity that Carlita mentioned just now. No, Alex, do you remember what Carla mentioned? Uh, here, here doesn't. She, she doesn't. She doesn't. She doesn't. Uh, read the book excellent a very book. good alex yes very good she doesn't read a book all right carlita that's terrible <laughs> very good that's okay alex tell me to tell us two activities please i don't dance i don't swimming i don't swim i don't swim very good what happened alex don't dance why not? <laughs> I don't have time. Yeah, I know. All right. That's another sentence. I don't have time. Perfect. Very good. Let's see. Carlos Alfredo, tell me the tell me the activities that Alex just mentioned. And Alex doesn't dance and swim. He doesn't dance and he doesn't swim because he doesn't have Time. 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 Very good, Beatriz. Thank you. Very, very good. Okay, Carlos Alfredo, tell us two activities, at Carlos, please. And I don't, I don't make exercise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I don't go to the bed early. Me neither. All right. Very good. Okay. <laughs> so, um, Judith, tell me what, tell me the activities the uh, Carlos Alfredo just mentioned. He doesn't do exercise. Uh huh. And oh, he doesn't go to bed early. Excellent. Very good. Nice. Thank you, guys. Very good. Okay, Judy, tell us two activities that you don't do. I don't eat isotope flowers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. And I don't like listen to reg reggae music. Okay, very good. Thank you. Very good. Galileo, what did Judith mention? She mentioned two activities that she doesn't do. She doesn't listen to reggae music. Okay. And the first sentence, uh, I can hear it. Ah, oh, you couldn't hear it. Sorry. Okay. Repeat, very good. please. Judith, uh -huh. uh, Judith, the first sentence. I don't eat is of the flower. <laughs> it doesn't eat is of the flower. Is of the flower. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right, right. Uh, it's really like it. good. It's my favorite food. One of really, my Galileo. Food. Y le confieso algo. I prefer papaya. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I, you know what? I have never, pero de verdad, never eaten flor de isote. Never. Really? Never. With eggs, yeah. Maybe it's because it's patriot. It's very patriot. <laughs> I know. Oh my goodness. But I love pupusas, sure. though, okay? <laughs> But, but you're a Salvadorian teacher? Yes, of course, Manuel. I am Salvadorian. A hundred percent. But I don't I don't know. I, I don't know why. Pupusas, How Manuel, do you okay? say amargo? Peter. Pacaya. It's Peter. really great. It's pacaya. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay, let's see. Um Galileo, tell us two activities. I do not swim in La Libertad Port. Okay. And I do not like to fly. You don't like to fly? No. Me neither. Um, <laughs> all right, very good. Um, Olga, tell us two activities about Galileo that he doesn't do. Um, he doesn't, he doesn't swim in the Libertad 
port. Yeah, he doesn't swim at the Libertad the port. Very good. port. Okay, very good. Um, <laughs> he doesn't uh, the fly. He doesn't like to fly. Yeah, he, he like doesn't to like fly. to fly. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> Olga, tell us two activities for you. I don't I don't like to paint. Okay. You don't like to? Paint. Ah, to paint. You paint. don't like to paint. Okay. To paint. All right. Okay. Um, I don't like drive in the night. You don't like to drive at night. Okay. At night. Yeah. Yes. At Very night. good. Ah, all right. Let's see. Jose Eduardo, aha, uh -huh, Jose Eduardo, tell us about Olga. Um, she does, I, uh, she does uh, like paint. She I doesn't mean. like paint. Very good, Jose Eduardo. Excellent. She doesn't like paint. Uh huh. And the other one, Jose Eduardo? <laughs> I don't remember. All right, very good. No se preocupe. That's okay. A ver, Jose Eduardo, tell us two activities that you don't do, Jose Eduardo. I do not cook. Oh, Jose Eduardo, why? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't like to play basketball. Oh, okay. Very good. Interesting. Thank you, Jose Eduardo. Very good sentences. A ver, Blanquita, uh, tell us the two activities that Jose Eduardo doesn't like. He doesn't love the school person to teach him. All right. Okay. And the I, other one? I, yeah, thank you. I, I I do not cook. Ajá. Y la, Ajá. la otra es, I don't like to play basketball. Excellent, very good. Okay. Ajá, Blanca. Sí. She doesn't uh, play basketball. Yeah, he doesn't play basketball. Very good. Oh. Ajá. Uh -huh. and, he, and the other one? He doesn't, he doesn't cook. He doesn't cook. He doesn't cook. Cook. De cocinar. He doesn't cook. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Ajá, okay. José Eduardo. Lo vamos a regañar. A ver, Blanquita, tell us two activities, Blanca. I do, I do not drink coffee. Me neither. Uh -huh. I don't like cream. You don't like cream? cream. De la, no. la crema de lácteo. The ah, yeah. I don't yeah. like sour cream. No. Sour oh, okay. cream. Okay, very good. Thank right. you, Blanca. Excellent. Luis Manuel, tell us the two activities that Blanca doesn't do. Luis Manuel, your microphone, honey. The mm -hmm. first one I I didn't listen. But the second one, uh, I think she doesn't like uh, uh, crema. Sour, sour, sour. cream. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. La primera es como la mía, I don't like coffee. O ella dijo, she doesn't like coffee. All right. Ah, okay. Yes, very good. Okay, Luis Manuel, tell us your two activities, please. Uh, I don't run in the morning. Okay. And... I don't drink Coca-Cola. Very good. All right, William, can you tell us the two activities that Manuel doesn't do? She, she sí. don't drink Coca-Cola. Sí. Coca she, she don't drink Coca-Cola. Espérame, 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 William. Yo creo que es la conexión. <laughs> she, Se me fue el inter, teacher. Yeah. <laughs> he don't or he doesn't, William? He doesn't, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh, continue. He doesn't, he doesn't drink, drink Coca-Cola. Excellent. He, he, um, um, he doesn't. No me acuerdo que dijo la primera. He doesn't run in the mornings. He doesn't run in the morning. Excellent. Very good. All right. Bea, tell us your two activities, please. Fine. I don't smoke and I don't eat tomato. Really? Okay. Very good. Eli, what about uh, Beatriz's sentences? What did she say? She doesn't smoke. 
Yes. Um, she, it, she doesn't tomato, maybe. She doesn't she eat doesn't tomatoes. Eat yes. Tomato. Mm -hmm. yes, very good. She doesn't eat tomatoes. All right, guys. Very good. Let's see. Um, one more. Elizabeth, can you tell us your two sentences, please? Mm -hmm. I don't dream carayos. I don't <laughs> eat junk food. Oh, my goodness, Ellie. You're so healthy. Very good. Luis, Alfonso, what did Elizabeth say? She doesn't Carao. Carao. Carao juice. All right. And the other one? And the other is uh, not using teacher. Um, oh, all Sorry. right. She said she doesn't eat junk food. No? She what doesn't junk? eat junk food. Junk food is comida, comida chatarra. All junk right. food. Uh huh. Ellie is very healthy. Very all right, good. very good. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> very good, Ellie. Good for you. All but, right, guys. Uh, but I drink, but I drink soda. Every ah, day. no, Elizabeth, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> all right, very good, guys. Okay, so we're going to stop right here, and I'm going to take attendance tomorrow. Vamos a clase, obviamente, vamos a hacer el repaso con un ejercicio. Okay, así que mañana todos puntualitos como siempre. Para empezar el ejercicio en grupos, all right? Porque son Teacher, para hacer negative sentences, yes. I have a question. Yes, William. En la plataforma yo ya hice todas las tareas, pero mi pregunta es, ¿no hay examen? En la primera semana no, William, más en la segunda. Okay. Ah, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. on, the second, on the second week. Thank you, William. Thank Super, you, William. very nice, lo felicito. Alex, uh, hoy se me queda a propósito... Blanca Elizabeth, un ratito Blanquita, oye. Thank you. All right, let's see. Alex Humberto Saldaña Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ana Beatriz Pineda Olmedo. Present. Ana Judith Portillo Bautista. Present. Blanca Elizabeth Alvarenga Mejía. Present. Carlos Alfredo Portillo Núñez. Present. Antonio Escobar Hernández. Present. Dinora Alejandra Alfaro Corea. She's gone. <laughs> Edwin Balmore. Listen to that, Galileo. You have to like give her a, a, a something she's tomorrow. Sleeping. <laughs> yeah, I know. She's probably sleeping. Edwin Balmore Flores Gomez is not here. Uh, Elmer Ubaldo Ramirez Cruz. Present. Present. Thank you. Francisca Elizabeth Martinez Gómez. I am here. Thank you. Gonzalo Valle Valle. Present. Jose Eduardo Guzman Álvarez. I'm here. Jose Galileo Barrera Hernández. Present teacher. Carla Marisol Escobar Arbaiza. Present teacher. Luis Alfonso Martínez Pérez. I'm teacher. Luis Manuel Muñoz Acevedo. Good night, teacher. Luis Manuel. Present teacher. Thank you. Norma Lizette Quintana Mancia. Normita. Present. Thank you. Uh, Olga Marina Contreras Acosta. Here I am. William Mauricio González Garcia. I'm here. Yolanda Melanie Perez Enríquez. Ada Karina Cruz Garcia. Present teacher. Thank you. And Anna Karin Solis Lopez. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining class today. Please work on your um, homework number four. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Solo me se me queda un ratito Blanca Elizabeth. All right, thank you, guys. Bye. Mm, Have a good night. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. Hi, Blanquita. Hi. How are you? Fine. Excellent. Very good. A ver, Blanquita, um, ¿habrá algo del presente simple que le pueda ayudar, Blanca, o de lo que hemos estado viendo en estos días, las time expressions, or the how much y how many, Blanca? How much is how many is it? Okay, very good. Eso sí, eso sí estaba fácil. Okay.
Eh, estaba un poquito perdida la que me explicó el do, el do y el das. Esa sí ya la entendí un poquito mejor. ¿eh? Ok. Quiero ver el otro. Y donde es, donde lleve es, uh -huh. s y s, ahí siento que me cuesta. En el presente. En las oraciones del presente, ok. Sí. A ver, espérame, solo déjeme, creo que tengo una presentación aquí. Okay, aquí está. A ver, se la voy a presentar aquí. A ver. A ver, en esta, logra ver, Blanca, sí, ¿verdad? Yes. All right. En esta de aquí, Blanca, cuando hablamos de positive sentence, acordémonos que en el I, you, we, they no le va a pasar nada al verbo. El verbo tal cual es. es si es go, es play, es eat, es run, cualquiera que sea, no le pasa nada. Cuando hablamos de he, she, it, es donde sí vamos a tener cambio. Por lo general, Blanca, el verbo, eh, cuando esté conjugado en tercera persona, usted le va a poner s. All right. Pero hay reglas, y esto lo que era su pregunta, que a veces le va a poner ES y a veces IES. ¿De qué va a depender? Va a depender de cómo termina su verbo en ejecución. ¿Ok? De eso depende. Porque la que va a llevar cambio, va a llevar cambio porque estamos hablando de he, she, it. ¿Ok? Entonces, la regla es esta. Le va a, va a, re, va a agregarle ES, ¿sí? A la forma base del verbo, o sea, si usted tiene el verbo go, por ejemplo, le va a agregar es cuando el verbo termine, uy, perdón, termine en s, en sh, en ch, en x, en z y en o. El z no es muy común, pero en, en el o sí. Por ejemplo, go, decimos goes. Y es, lo escribimos goes, ¿verdad? Okay. Cuando eh, tenemos el verbo watch y cuando digo termina es cuando usted tiene el verbo original, por decirlo así, el, el verbo base y usted ve que termina en ch. ¿Ok? Cuando termina en ch, usted en tercera persona singular, o sea, su mamá, por decir algo, my mother watches. Entonces le agrega a la escritura es, no solo s. ¿verdad? Entonces tiene que ver con cómo termina su verbo. Si su verbo termina en CH, SH, X, WS, Z y O, le va a agregar ES. A tercera persona singular, afirmativo. ¿Ok? ¿Ok? Entonces, por ejemplo, kiss, cuando usted dice, Mi be el bebé me da un beso, me besa. Entonces dice, the baby, porque solo es un baby, the baby kisses. ¿Verdad? Entonces, kiss y luego es. ¿Verdad? Fuera feo si solo le agregáramos otra s, son tres s de corrido, fuera como raro, ¿verdad? Entonces necesitamos una e y una s. Right? Igual cuando se dice, él lava la ropa, he washes, ¿verdad? Como termina en ese, en ese, le voy a agregar es, washes. Entonces, es, depende de cómo termina su verbo. Y así usted le va a agregar es. Y luego tenemos esta otra regla. Si el verbo, el verbo original blanca o el verbo base termina en y, pero antes de la y va una consonante. Uy, perdón, perdón, perdón. perdón. Si antes de la y va una consonante, quítele la y, póngale y latina y es. ¿verdad? Ahora, si el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de la Y hay una vocal, entonces no va a cambiar la Y por nada, solo va a agregarle S al verbo. Ok, entonces ambos, si se fija, fly y play, ambos terminan en Y, pero en fly, antes de la Y está la L. Entonces hay el cambio, porque va una consonante antes, exacto. Mientras que en play, no voy a agregarle IES porque antes de la Y hay una vocal. Entonces, esa es la diferencia. ¿Verdad? Esa es la única regla para IES. 
Muy bien. Entonces, ahora, estos cambios, eh, Blanca, solo se dan en tercera persona singular afirmativo. Porque en negativo, como llevo el doesn't, el verbo regresa otra vez a fly. A su forma original. A su forma original, exacto. Ah. O sea, cuando solo en afirmativo es que se le cambia. Así es, afirmativo, tercera persona singular. Negativo igual. En, pre, en, en pregunta igual no, no cambia o no aplica esta regla porque lleva un auxiliar al principio de su pregunta, ¿verdad? Yo le digo, does she play basketball? Uh -huh. Entonces ya ella no necesita ningún cambio porque llevamos el auxiliar das. O das en su defecto si fuese negativo. Pero como en las afirmativas no llevamos auxiliar, entonces por eso necesitamos esos cambios. Uh -huh. sí, así, me aclaré más. Sí, ¿verdad? No ok, así. ajá. Entonces no sé si le logró tomar foto a esta ¿Sí? diapositiva. ¿Le logró tomar sí, a dos? sí, sí. Sí, para que le quede de referencia. De todas maneras, esto lo vamos a ver mañana porque es repaso de la semana. Entonces, pero usted ah, ya lo va a ver y lo va, ya lo va a reconocer, ¿verdad? Pero eso es lo que vamos a ver mañana. Sí. Y es, es donde aplica esa regla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Sí, que eso no le, entendí, o sea, no le entendía mucho. Ok. Porque lo demás fue menos si lo entendí con lo que explicó del duda, si ya lo okay. entendí. Otra cosa, aprovechando. Y claro, claro. En, en pronunciación, o sea, ¿qué puedo hacer para tener un poquito más de vocabulario? Leer pues, más. O... Sí, de hecho, eh, todo, Blanca, acuérdese que todo ayuda, pero puede escuchar, puedes eh, hacer algunos ejercicios de, de listening, leer. Al nivel que nosotros estamos ahorita, Blanca, le recomiendo que escuche canciones sencillas. De hecho, canciones para niños sería lo ideal. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué? Así no se complica usted tanto en decir, Dios mío, no entendí, ¿verdad? Porque si nos vamos a traducir, a copiar una canción de Michael Jackson, por decirle algo, <risa> es súper complicado. Entonces, lo que va a hacer es sentirse frustrada porque no entendió la mayoría de palabras. Entonces, sí, bueno. es como que buscar mejor canciones más fáciles donde usted pueda ver la letra, oírlo, entonces va identificando sonido, pronunciación, qué lo escribe, entonces eso le puede ayudar, Blanca. Y cuando sí, le digo porque... leer, también leer cuentos, no se va a leer Shakespeare, ¿verdad? No se va a ir a leer una enciclopedia, se va a perder. Entonces sí, con libros así bien sencillos, historias para niños sería como lo ideal. Pero siempre estar practicando, pareciera mentira, pero si usted está trabajando y si puede poner música en inglés, su cerebro está asimilando el sonido y la pronunciación sin querer queriendo, es, lo, está, lo está haciendo trabajar, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí, hágalo, ponga música ahí, si maneja o va en el carro, de repente si ve en bus, pero puede andar audífonos, oyendo música de cualquiera. En inglés siempre su cerebro está guardando información. ¿verdad? Entonces, aunque no sepa lo que diga. Exacto, aunque no sepa lo que dice. Y de repente le va a aparecer así como, hey, entendí una palabra, o será que habrá dicho eso. Entonces eso también la va a ir motivando a seguir oyendo. Pero lo importante sí, es que su cerebro escuche muchas cosas. Uh -huh. Sí, porque con usted siento que uh, habla más en inglés, entonces eso me, me pongo así, tengo que buscar más. Porque, o sea, hay cosas que no les entiendo, pero cuando... O alguna palabrita, ah, ya entendiste okay, qué quiere decir. Okay, entonces, exacto, ok. Sí, después sí, va a ir asimilando. Asimil he sentido, también. ajá, he sentido ese cambio, porque en la primera sí me da, da un poquito más de español y lo decía. Y en okay. esta clase sí he sentido un poquito la diferencia y he visto, ah, no, tenemos okay. que ir así, creo que vamos a ir avanzando más. Así es, sí, y entre más vamos, sí. más. Entonces, digo, ¿qué tengo que hacer para ayudar, ayudar en esto? Okay. Pero imagino, yo oigo que tiene niño o niña, no sé, por ahí, ¿verdad? Tengo dos niñas, sí. Okay. Entonces, me, mejor, <risa> excelente. Sabe que puede buscar eh, tantas, tantas cosas que hay ahora en, en, en la web, ¿verdad? Pero ponga música para niños en sí. inglés. Esa y le va, le, le, ponemos. Sí, sí, le, le ponemos. va a ayudar a usted y obviamente a las niñas. Sí, sí. Sí, así ah, pues es que así, a... sí, hágalo, sí. y ahí 
sin querer queriendo, usted va a estar así como, como oyendo más palabras, le va a ayudar mucho a la pronunciación, a distinguir sonidos, ¿verdad? O a conocer palabras nuevas. Entonces, pero a ese nivel ahorita, Blanca, oye. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Super bien. Ok, Blanquita. Ahí estamos cualquier cosa a la orden, oye. Ok. Muchas All right. gracias. Bueno, ya bien. sabe. Bueno, no a usted porque. Good night. Good night. Bye. Gracias.